Greetings YouTube! If this is the first time viewing my channel, definitely check out some of my other videos. I have, do a lot of vacuum reviews on my channel. And what I have in front of me is a Dyson V11. However, it could be a Dyson V10 or even a Dyson V8. If you're like me, you spent a bit of money for your Dyson. And it's bare floor performance. Eh, it's just all right. And part of that is due to the brush design. So, when we talk about the Dyson brush design, it's always spinning. There is, for some reason, no way to stop the spinning brush. And if you're doing bare floor pickup, you have to have this gate open in front here, enable for it to get big stuff. Well, that, create, that makes a conundrum where the vacuum is constantly spitting stuff out and possibly scratching your bare floor with that spinning brush. So, Dyson actually realized this and came out with a solution description on the, uh, the Vessel Work uh, bare floor tool. And this is a dual squeegee design that's been around for a very long time. This, is always, this has been the champion of bare floor tools uh, for, for a very long time. Um, so, Dyson quietly came out with this. And this is probably the best fix for extending battery life on your V11 and cleaning on bare floor. So you have your max and then an unlabeled dot. And what is that doing? Well, that is opening and closing some gates. It's also got squeegees here, which is excellent so the hair won't get caught in there. But you only have three small wheels. I don't know why Dyson keeps skipping on wheels. In the past, they have not done this. Now, the other weird thing about this is the suction comes from both sides rather than just one opening. So that's really strange, and the articulation on this makes it rather restrictive. But I do believe it to be less restrictive than, say, like the fluffy brush roller or something like that. So let's go ahead and give it a test on our usual mess. And if you're not familiar with their usual mess, we have dog hair, breakfast cereal, flour, and cat litter. see anything left behind. Really good. Now we've been using this, if you'll focus here on the boost mode, so I'm going to stick it to auto, and we're going to see how that does. And we could hear right there that something just fell out of it when we did that. So it would appear that auto, even with this wonderful bare floor tool, isn't enough to suck everything up. Now, I'm going to show you real quick. There's a piece of uh, fur stuck in the bottom of that. I'm going to put it back on boost. You're going to find that that piece of dirt or a piece of hair is gone now. And that's because the boost mode actually has enough power to suck up everything and clear the nozzle. So leaving the vacuum on auto eventually is going to build up a lot of stuff. You basically need to put it on boost at least before you put away to suck everything out of there. So I think it's safe to say that really if you're doing any sort of bare floor cleaning you're going to end up having it on boost even with this wonderful bare floor tool. The question is now is how is this going to do on massive amounts of large debris which are not common to pick up but the pet hair is, but not the Cheerios. So we're going to go ahead and test it, and we're going to have the gate open as well. And it's going to be on boost. Oh, he's got a little 
messed up. Some snow pumps going on. So it would appear in there is really the, the thing about a lot of stick vacuums. Anytime something has to go up this tube that far and then go through a cyclone, you sometimes you have to give it a few seconds for it to catch up. So you would then have to hold it. Like so, before you stop every time you clean, otherwise it's going to put dirt back on your floor. And as you can see, it just didn't pick up those large Cheerios, and we still have this piece of hair stuck in here. Let's see if it just does it now. So, now that, when we started, I don't know if you guys saw, the bin was probably uh, mostly empty. And it's all kind of gathered in one place in the bin, and we see this as these bins get full. So the full mark's here, but I really believe this is almost as full as it probably should be filled. So we're going to do that same pickup test with the cat litter, the flour, the breakfast cereal, and the dog hair. But this time, we're going to use uh, the vessel work floor tool and see how it does. And I'm running a small little GoPro on here as well for you all to see up close. some cereal out here and that's a problem with the the V series of Dyson is when you're done you do have to hold the button for a second to make sure everything makes it up in the tube but you can see it picked it up really well let's do what's left over there and you can see that did a great job in terms of picking it up. Now, this, let's see how it does on this bigger debris, like these Cheerios and that sort of thing. see that they're all in there. One of the problems with the Dyson nozzle is if you have it on boost mode it won't push on soft carpet. Even with the gates open it's really hard to push. And you really need to use it on boost mode to get the full effectiveness of your V11 um, to pick up the stuff that's deep in your carpet. If you're not using it on boost mode on carpet you're actually grinding a lot of that stuff in with this tool. Now the Dyson tool I was hoping this would work on carpet as well, but it just won't push either. But, this vessel work tool on this mode pushes very easily on carpet. And part of the reason for that is if we look at the Dyson tools, we look at this tool, there's something missing from all, all the Dyson tools. This has these nice large wheels. The Dyson tools don't really have any wheels, making them very hard to push. So time to do a pickup test with this, and we're going to do the same stuff. We're going to use that flour, that breakfast cereal, the dog hair, and the cat litter. 
can barely see it, but there's cat litter in the back there. And we're going to run a point of view camera for you as well. Do the other side. If we pushed a little bit of, of the breakfast cereal around, but other than that, it did really well. In fact, I'd say this tool does better than the one that Dyson equips with a brush. Well, thanks for watching this video. And I hope this helps you with your Dyson V11, V10, V8 um, purchase because while I can't give you back all your hard-earned money spent on your Dyson, I definitely can help you find a tool that maybe will work a little bit better on the end of that stick vacuum for you. So thanks for watching. Check out one of my other videos here and definitely give this a like, a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell. Once a week I do uploads. I'd love to share some more videos with you.